What up guys, it's your favorite fellow earthling back with another junk removal video. Today I'm out with Brandon and we're gonna be removing about a thousand square foot of carpet and some furniture and then also some junk in the garage. I'll go ahead and show you what we're doing here and then we're gonna get to work. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that like button. We got this stuff in the garage here we're gonna clean out but first we're gonna start with cutting the uh, carpet out of the house get all this carpet out bada bing bada boom there is some carpet in a closet back there we're gonna remove as well just a little bit we're gonna go ahead and get the whole carpet out of here get all that furniture off the back porch Behind the scenes. yeah 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 Get all this stuff, get this carpet. We're gonna cut it all out with a razor blade, roll it up. We're gonna do that first because there's a lot of fleas in here and I don't wanna bite me. All right, so let's start cutting away on this carpet, rolling it up and throwing it in the dumpster. show you a key to, to doing carpets like this. Um, it would have been better to start right here in the middle mm -hmm. and then slice. So just do a slice from here all the way down. Mm -hmm. and we just rip it up, roll that half up, and roll this half up, and we're out of here. Okay. I'm thinking in threes. Nah, two is good. This is, okay. trust me, with this amount of carpet, unless like the living room, we'll probably do threes because it's a little bit larger, but it'd be plenty good enough for us to do halves. Cool, all right, I'm just gonna rip it down the middle then. Yep, rip it down the middle. And then I'll come right behind you and start peeling up. Make sure you get a good cut on it though. Yeah, I got it. You gotta recut that. This is why we're removing the carpets, guys. The dog pissed everywhere all over it. Literally every piece we removed so far looked like this on the bottom. Um, this is why the customer is having us remove it. You want to document all of this for the customer so they know what everything looks like. Um, and also, look at that lizard on the wall over there. <laughs> Let's see, look, you little lizard. He must have been living under the carpet. All right, back to work, Brandon. Right. What are you watching me watch a lizard for? <laughs> Alright, so today is Wednesday and we actually have two trucks out today, me and Brandon obviously doing this whole house clean out and uh, then we have uh, Richard and Isaac on the other truck doing two dumpster rentals and two junk removals, smaller jobs. So uh, good day for the company, uh, running two trucks, that's how you know you're uh, you know growing as a company and keeping you guys paid. So we're going to go into a quick hyperlapse because get this carpet done in a few seconds rather than you guys watching the whole thing in regular time so let's go and 
and bada bing bada boom guys we got the carpet out of the living room area done we're gonna come through tip of the day when you're moving carpet just come through with a shovel and the stuff that's stuck to the glue just scrape it off with a shovel put it in a trash bag and you're good to go so the next places we got to do is in here in this room down this little tiny hallway right here and then we're gonna get this room done so we'll, we'll start with this one get her done <laughs> There's got to be some sofa somewhere. Huh? Start with the closets. That way you can pull it out of the closet and then it doesn't run underneath the doors or anything. You shouldn't have to take those doors off. Um, if you do like uh, kind of pull it off to the side and then you can probably sh shut the door there. Right there, you shut the door, right? And then, yeah. This, get the closets. All right. Okay. Come on, bro. Suffocation, no breathing. Go above and beyond for your customers every time, guys. We've only been here for what? Maybe 45 minutes to an hour? Yeah. All right, we remove 1,000 square foot of carpet, the under cushion of the carpet, and we're almost done sweeping the whole entire house. So go above and beyond, guys, and they will hire you again and again and again. These people are gonna be super happy with our services. We are also giving them recommendations for a cleaner and recommendations for a uh, bug uh, company to like get all the bugs out of here. They have fleas and cockroaches and all that good stuff. As I said in one of my last videos, how you guys can stand out from the rest of the companies, this is exactly what we do. We go above and beyond, we sweep up, we took doors off to make sure we could get the carpet out efficiently. We've only been here for an hour and we're gonna make about 1500 bucks from, th from this job and it's all gonna be one load. So that shows you guys what kind of jobs you can get out there and we're giving them recommendations so that they can call uh, these people, have them get out here and clean today, have them come out here and spray today. And basically we were an all in one company uh, for them today. They're gonna leave us a five star review and the guy even offered to go buy me some jeans because <laughs> I was getting bit up by some fleas. Uh, but yeah, I do recommend wearing long pants if you guys are going to be in this industry. I just didn't have any clean long pants today because of vacation that weekend. But uh, we're going to get back to work now. Alright guys, so we finished scraping and sweeping all the floors in the house. We're only about an hour into the job now, maybe just a little over an hour. We're going to clean off the back porch now. We've got a, a sectional couch. It looks like a um, pull-out couch there and a dresser. And then we're gonna sweep the back porch off. So let's go ahead and get a hyperlapse of that and get her done. All right guys, so we're actually going to get this wood loaded in there while we still have a spot. And then we have a uh, dresser and a grill on the back porch still, and we're gonna get loaded up after we get this wood in. Uh, so that we make, we make sure that we can fit everything in one load. So let's go.
Okay guys, we're all finished up. Got us an over the top load, but we were able to fit every single thing into the dumpster that was in the house. Check it out. All right, so first of all, here's the garage area, completely cleaned out and swept out. We actually went up in the attic, we grabbed a few things out of the attic. Let me go ahead and close that up for the gentleman right now. It's another one of those things, guys, just go above and beyond. If you pull something down, put it back. If you turn a light on, turn it off. It makes all the difference. So we got all the stuff off the shelf in here. Go ahead and walk around. Bada bing, bada boom. Carpets are done. Got stuff out of that closet, everything out of this closet, including the carpet. Uh-oh, I hear water. Uh-oh, you got the shut off? Was it leaking down there or no? Well, that's a dishwasher that's leaking. Oh, oh, wow, okay, I saw that. He, great. <laughs> I thought he had the sink on that. I saw that there. Fantastic. All right, we got this all cleaned out. Got the carpet out of here. The stuff off the back porch. Got the carpet out of this hallway. The carpet out of this room. That closet. And also this room. Bada bing, bada boom, guys. We swept everything, broom clean. Went above and beyond. Now we're gonna haul this stove and dishwasher out to the road because we don't have room for it, but we're gonna go ahead and help them out, get that out of here. All right. Headed to the landfill, leaving this job with a full load, guys. We got $20 tip each, so the guy gave out 40 bucks extra on top of the $1,500 that he paid for the job to uh, make sure that he showed his appreciation to us. So that's what happens, guys. You go above and beyond, you sweep up afterwards, you give them recommendations. We have a, a cleaning company and a pest company that we recommended, picked up their phone, and they're headed out here to do the job for him today. Pulling into the landfill now. Brandon, how much do you think this load is gonna cost, bro? $10,000. 10,000? $10, Flat out, 10,000. I hope not, because we lost a lot of money on this job if it was 10,000. I don't know. Give a, come on, give an educated guess, bro. You gotta get good at this or else you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail yeah, at I life, bro. I don't ever bro. know you guys pay on it, so let's All right. go with uh, It's $32 whopping. a ton. $32 a ton. How many? Oh, okay. So think and about, how many pounds it, a ton is 2,000 pounds. So how many pounds do you think we got in here? And then you, you calculate that out to a price. I'm just gonna say 60. 60 bucks. I'm gonna say 60 yeah. bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we both guessed 60 bucks. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna see. just stick with that. Let's see what happens. We got the FHP at the landfill, guys. <laughs> They're out here checking uh, literally every big truck that pulls up. They're checking to make sure, you know, regulations. We got the high beams, we got the low beams, you got your blinkers, your brake lights, you got your tarp, all that good stuff. And then they give you a ticket if you don't, so. Yeah, I guess they're really bored today. Almost up to the scale here, guys. And then uh, we're gonna go dump this and uh, see how much we weigh. All right guys, it's been a while since I recorded our dump. So we're gonna go ahead and record us taking a dump here. Here, you wanna take the camera and record me taking a dump on the landfill? Hell yeah. Ah! Ready? Just kidding. Buddy, fine art. <laughs> hey, so we're back with uh, the weight and the price. Guys, put down below what you think it was. But uh, me and Brandon both definitely lost this. It was twenty-seven dollars and seventy-two cents, bro. Oh, wait. We were literally fucking way off. Like I've been out of the game for a while guys, so I understand why I was way off, but Brandon you got to get better, bro You're supposed to be taking over soon. Hey, you know my estimates is only as good as my boss trains me to be. Oh, you know? oh, all right Yeah, so we need to talk to Richard then, huh? All right, I got you <laughs> 